the day headache, fatigue headache. Headaches that one gets at the end of the day when the person is tired. The person may want to hold and give a pressure to this kind of headache. This headache is because you don't have enough chi, you don't have enough body fluid. Uh, your brain is just too dry. So if you give a pressure, it fills the space that's empty so you feel better. This can happen is um, uh, say like a very uh, a person who is very sensitive to the electric magnetic field like a Wi-Fi people who can feel Wi-Fi may have this type of headache. Um, this type of headache uh, is due to exhaustion of chi and blood. So the treatment principle is you just need to nourish the chi and the blood in the head. But this this takes time because to nourish the chi and blood, you have to have a cause chi, especially blood, comes from food. Chi, you can actually tonify chi using chi gong and appropriate exercise, but the, you I don't think you can nourish the blood by uh, exercise. You, you need to eat well. So if you are already at this point, you, you don't have enough blood, and not, you don't have enough blood not because of the circulation. There's somewhere a pylon so that, you know, the head, is, doesn't, head doesn't have a, a blood. Not like that. This person, the stomach, the system, stomach doesn't generate enough blood because the uh, digestive system is not functioning. Definitely, definitely needs mo uh, Chinese herbs. I don't think uh, I never had a success success case with acupuncture only because acupuncture does consume your chi. So you you do need um, Chinese herbs. Only substances can nourish the substances, uh, and moxibustion too strong is in your digestive system and yeah, some acupuncture. For this person, needs a good rest. Another type of headache, and not, nothing to do with this, is uh, um, cold, excess cold accumulation. It's not even, it's not, it's not beyond dampness. It's a cold accumulated in the head and this is a debilitating type of the most painful type of headache will be this type of uh, accumulation of the cold and like I said before it, it, it gives you a hopelessness because uh, medicine doesn't even work uh, you need to uh, really warming herbs to warm the stomach um, would you, you uh, I have it over there behind of you uh, oh no here you, you need this herbs, this one. Uh, this is needed, um, that type of headache. That's really severe. And then you probably had a di different, more different symptoms all the way. This, you won't get to this stage in overnight. You, this is, this person is gradually make yourself like unhealthy. Because like often they could work too hard for other people and not taking care of yourself. Self care was not priority which is often the case and which is weird because you should take care of yourself first but like like myself too we often put ourselves uh, at the end after you know everybody else so these people just whistling away and then the so get weakened and then um gets headache so uh I'm gonna quickly introduce this case of this 53 years old female with lifelong headache. She came, uh, she came in, and uh, she was very pleasant. She, because she lives with this headache so long, and it's a nature, it's every day for her. She's smiling, and she says she has like a, she has a migraine few times a week, and then uh, if she doesn't have a migraine, she has a headache. And then uh, her headache was in the occiput. Uh, she's a teacher, so uh, uh, a lot of computer work and stress, yeah? Um, so she, she had an occipital headache, frontal headache, uh, side of the headache with then like squeezing pain. Everything. All the, all, everything's in there. It's like a headache cocktail. 
Um, she also had a night sweat, spontaneous sweat. So, uh, age, this age, right? Like, you know, this 50, 50 years old female uh, often goes through the menopause and they think it's normal. It's normal that you have a uh, night sweat and spontaneous sweating, a hot flush. It's common, but it's not normal. You can have a menopause without having a night sweat. So, um, anyway. I need to do well because when you have a nice sweat and spontaneous sweat you lose the sweat you lose the body fluid then you're gonna go into this uh, this type of headache at the end of uh, uh, when you sweat it too much and it lose so much body fluid and blood um, you don't sweat the blood out but the, if you lose the sweat you lose blood too in the end uh, you you will have other type of the, this person wouldn't have another type of headache on top of this if she didn't already have and didn't mention to me so this needs to be stopped right away when she came or when anyone comes with night sweat or spontaneous sweat I have to stop the sweating right away she also had a knees and hip pain like everybody else cough with yellow friend sinus congestion so you can already see there's a damp retention in the head she had a sinus congestion here already so it's a retention of the dampness uh, then she has a, uh, for the digestion she has a bloating no desire to drink despite the feeling of thirst she has no desire to drink because there's enough dampness enough moist in the stomach so the stomach didn't want any much more water and then the internet tells her to drink three liters of water so she tries and then it only accumulates the dampness further because she didn't need any more water she's full of water she also had a foggy head heavy head difficult to focus and to read for the long time so foggy head heavy head difficult to focus is a damp retention in the head you're just misting your brains the frontal cortex is so misted with the dampness you, you just have a foggy head and then uh, can't read for a long time is uh, uh, the brain brain stamina is low so she's already start having a, a bit of the dry brain because uh, uh, damp retention in the head prevent uh, nourish the blood circulation to nourish and repair the brain cells so her brain is uh, it's tired it's not nourished well it's, it's a malnourished brain and she's teacher she's she's used herself for her students and then herself is weathering away of course she have a hard time of uh, fall asleep uh, I will have a talk about insomnia later on but the hard to fall asleep is uh, not enough blood dreamful just like strong so dreamful is um, dry heat especially when it's vivid especially when it's not a nice content it's a dry brain dry heat is in the brain and just like strong light, this is the uh, not enough blood nourishing the eyeball. So eyeball is now a bit of the dry side. So you can't you can't handle the strong lights. So, so cause of the side headache for her was a chi disturbance due to the weak digestion. She bloats. If she bloats, she doesn't have a good digestion. Yeah. So the chi gets disturbed at the diaphragm line. The cause of occipital headache is a stress and tight neck and shoulder. The cause of the frontal headache for her was the retention of the dampness due to weak digestion. So treatment principle for her was harmonize the chi uh, between the diaphragm up and diaphragm down, improving the digestive system, and descends the accumulated chi heat and also dampness down. So acupuncture and Chinese herbs, and then she actually only took one week. And I thought it would take uh, longer than that, but the, after one week, headache decreased to uh, twice a week. Oh, she was so happy. You, you, you can't imagine how happy she was. She hasn't had the day that she didn't have headache two days in a row for a long, long time. And it, it, even she had a headache, it was less intensity to the point that the, she may not need the Tylenol sleep. Tylenol and ibuprofen, it's so, it, it's an uh, NSAID, right? Non-steroid anti-inflammatory 
drugs. So it's cold. The nature of the uh, ibuprofen and Tylenol is very cold. Tylenol 3 is like so cold. So it chews the, it actually uh, make, your di make your digestive system weaker because it's so cold. So it, it creates even more uh, poor digestion, digestive environments Accumulate that accumulates dampness, which perpetuates a headache. So taking a headache, uh, ibuprofen or Tylenol, doesn't work. And eventually, eventually, it would become uh, excess cold, and then the Tylenol won't work. And then now uh, you're gonna have a debilitating pain. So good that she came when she came. Like, she should have come earlier, but it's good that when she came, when she came. Um, So no migraine headache. It was a headache, not a migraine headache. And then uh, she took the same herb for a uh, couple more weeks uh, to consolidate it. And then uh, after this, um, she changed to the other focus, uh, other focus that we were w working on. But uh, yeah, unless it's really, really bad outside, she usually doesn't have a headache. And even though she does, uh, she often doesn't need like, a heavy, heavy, uh, medicine so she was really happy and I was really happy too so that's that so that's the uh, end of the lecture I'm gonna sneeze soon so I'm gonna end it I'm gonna sneeze soon um, anyway uh, if you have a questions um, I can take a, each of your questions uh, later and this is the end of the lecture thank you so much for coming <laughs>